hello and welcome to excellent link academy for this class we're discussing about chemistry so the topic is known as how to calculate the relative molecular mass of a compound so supposing you're given a compound how do you find the relative molecular mass of that compound so to find the relative molecular mass of a given compound um, we'll try to solve some example as i've shown you here and look and and look on the technique on how to solve or how to calculate for the for a given relative molecular mass of a compound so to find the relative molecular mass or to calculate for the relative molecular mass of a compound here is what you need to note right so the concept is quite simple let's have number one let's solve the problem number one there and let's see how we can actually solve that question there for number one there <coughs> I'm having CH2O. So I'm having CH2O. How do I possibly find the um, relative molecular mass of CH2? The concept is quite simple. Not that when it comes to relative, relative molecular mass, you might be given the relative atomic mass. So this is the mass. C has 12. This carbon, that's 12. Hydrogen is 11. Is 1 oxygen 16 and it continues so when i thought to calculate relative molecular mass you might be given the what relative atomic mass or perhaps you might not be given but in this case here we are given so the task is quite simple first is first i'm going to calculate what the relative molecular mass of each compound here as you can see let's start with number one there ch2o so first is first i'm saying carbon carbon is at atomic mass of what 12 so i'll have 12 i'll have that 12 plus into hydrogen is what is one so i have i have two molecule of hydrogen that becomes two times the mass of hydrogen is what is one i have one here yeah? plus mass of oxygen is 16 so i have 16 here yeah? therefore if i simplify this one here yeah, i'll have that 12 plus two times one gives two plus 16 add them up 12 plus, um, what's it called? 2, that's 14. Of course, 14 plus 16 will give 30 gram per mole. So, gram per mole is simply the SI unit for representing the relative molecular mass of a compound. So, it means that the relative molecular mass of CH2O is what? 30 gram per mole. Let's get to number 2. Let's do number 2 to further explain the idea behind calculating the relative molecular mass of a compound i have number two carb calcium i have carbon and um calcium triosocarbonate this is carbon so this, this is calcium triosocarbonate of course let's calculate the relative molecular mass of calcium triosocarbonate what's your first tax what we know now is that our first is first our first tax here now i have calcium here check the at a relative take check the atomic mass of calcium the atomic mass of calcium ca is 40 so i have 40 for calcium so plus this is carbon that's 12 carbon is 12 i have 12 plus i should have said this is oxygen which is 16 but i'm seeing three oxygen so this three molecule of oxygen that becomes three times 16 that's the concept from here, I'll have 40 plus 12 plus 3 times 16. That's 48. So 3 times 16 will be 48. At this point here, yeah, if I had um, 40 plus um, 12 plus 48, that would give about 100 gram per mole. So I'll have 100 gram per mole as my answer to the relative molecular mass of this compound here. All right, um, let's do i'll do three so you do four as an assignment so you put your answer in the comment section below so i will reply you in the comment section as fast as i can so do number four and leave your answer in the comment section below let's do number three for number three there we are taught to calculate what the relative molecular mass of uh, potassium k is potassium um i have mn so what's mn right guys so the tax is that i gave you the first assignment try to calculate the molecular mass here put your answer in the comment and also tell me the meaning of 
amen right search for it what's the meaning of amen let me know in the comment section below all right i have oxygen O. Oh, four molecules of oxygen so how do we get it uh, how do we get the relative molecular mass of this man here yeah? the task is quite simple start with um k what's k potassium that's 39 i have 39 here yeah? plus what's mn check mn is given as 55 i have 55 here yeah? plus into oxygen is this is 4 times 16 as the mass number of oxygen simplifying this one here yeah? i have 39 plus 55 plus if i multiply 16 by 4 um that break up about 64 16 times uh, 4 times 16 will give 64 of course if i add this one up um 39 plus 55 plus 64 that'd be about 158 gram per mole as the answer to the relative molecular mass of the compound there so this is like the concept behind finding relative molecular mass of a given compound as you can see in front of you so uh now next class we look at how to calculate for percentage composition by mass of an element in our next class so i give you two assignments the first one is calculate the calculate the relative molecular mass of this one here and put your answer in the comment section below the second assignment i gave you is that tell me the meaning of mn um what is it what does it mean does it mean manganese or what does it mean what does it mean so m is mag magnesium right so mg is magnesium what's mn so tell me in the comment section below so see you in our next class thanks for watching and welcome to excellent link academy do well to like the video subscribe to our channel and share to your friends and classmates so that they can learn too if you're interested in joining our whatsapp group you can check the description of this video i'll drop a link there to our whatsapp group so see you in the next class